There are a lot of Switch accessories on the market, tons of them, so many that it's hard to keep track of them all. But the thing is, as many things that are marketed for the Switch there are, there are so many more things out there that'll work for the system just fine while not actually being really meant for it in the first place. So we're gonna take a look at some secret Switch accessories. To start with, we're going to take a look at a classic example of this, and one that we've talked about a few times in the past, and that's a tablet stand. There are so many cheap tablet stands on the market you can grab that'll work perfectly for the Switch and act as another way to set it up for tabletop mode. Because as I have said time and time and time again, I hate the kickstand on the Switch. It doesn't do a great job of supporting it, it's not always the most stable, and after you've used it a bunch of times, it just starts to break really, really easily. So this is going to give you a way to have a nice, sturdy way of setting up your Switch when you want to play in tabletop mode. Not to mention, it raises it up and leaves a little section open so you can actually plug things into the bottom of the switch and charge it up instead of just blocking that port access when you try setting it up on its own. Again, there are tons of these on the internet that are really cheap to pick up. You can get one like this, it's just a nice straightforward from design, or you can get one that's also collapsible so you get a little more portability. There are so many to choose from and they are way cheaper than anything that's gonna have a Mario or Zelda logo on it. I'm gonna need you guys to stick with me for a second on this next one because this is a little weird, it's kind of dumb, it's a little silly, but honestly, Honestly, this is a great cheap way to add a little extra protection to your Switch. One of the problems that people can run into is if they're switching their Switch between the docked and undocked modes really often, you run the risk of scratching the screen because every time you're slamming it in there or taking it out, if you're not really angling it right, you can just end up scratching a little bit and that's not something you want to have happen. So to add a little extra protection, you get some rubber bands. I am 100% serious about this. All you gotta do is take two rubber bands, put them on the outer edges of the switch, just lightly covering the bezels, and it's gonna give a little extra spacing between the screen and the front part of the dock. You are gonna feel more resistance when you're putting the switch into the dock, so you can't really do it as fluidly or simply, but that's gonna make sure that your screen is nice and safe. Now, at the start of this scene, you might have some questions. Specifically, what is Kevin wearing and why? Well, this is a beanie and I wear it for reasons that I'm never going to explain to you guys. Now, as for the next product on our list, this is a tablet holder that's designed just to work with a variety of different smaller tablets. And the usual idea is it's so you can watch a TV show or something on it while keeping your hands free and staying mobile. But for the Switch, it is a revolution in how to play games on the go. Now, normally, if you wanna walk around and play your Switch at the same time, you have to keep it in handheld mode and that requires you to be in a very specific just setup and it can kind of feel cramped and just over time, not super comfortable. With this though, you're gonna be able to play the Switch, see it at the same time, and keep your hands free just to have the two Joy-Cons freeform or use other controllers if you like, like a Switch Pro controller. Now, will you look completely ridiculous doing this? Yes, I am not going to lie to you. Is it comfortable? Yes. By the way, if you're wondering about the Switch we're using in today's video, this is actually a skin I got thanks to today's sponsor, Dbrand. They have a whole line of Switch skins that are totally safe to use on the Switch itself, on the Joy-Cons, or even for the dock. There's a large variety of different colors and designs to choose from. Right now, I'm really in a big Spider-Man mood after seeing the latest movie, so I went for a red and blue look right now. There's a whole lot of choices out there. If you want to take a look, check out the link down below. One of the accessories we talked about a lot this year is Bluetooth adapters, and the big one for the Switch is the Ginky, which is an excellent, awesome choice. However, it's not exactly super easily available right now. You can place orders, but it takes some time and it's just trying to get out to everyone. So if you're really impatient and just want a wireless solution for your Switch right away, there are a lot of Bluetooth adapters that plug right into an aux port that will work perfectly fine. One example we have right here is the AirFly from 12 South. So this just plugs into the aux port of the Switch. It's gonna give it Bluetooth compatibility. It supports APTX, so if you have APTX headphones, you're gonna get that low latency, which is so important. And otherwise, you're still gonna get great quality audio. Now, the reason why we're talking about this one in particular is that while there are a lot of different Bluetooth adapter options out there, aside from obviously the Genki like we've talked about, a lot of the cheaper choices out there are like actually cheap, not in the good way. Like they just, they feel very flimsy. They don't look great. It's not very stable. This is something that's gonna plug into the Switch and it's nice and sturdy and just really looks good too. Now you might notice that a lot of items on this list have one thing in common and that's tablets. Look, the fact that the Switch is very similarly shaped to common tablets means there's a lot of really useful stands and holders that are designed to work with that shape. And this next item is another great example of this. Now you might be wondering what actually this is. So this is actually, 
a tablet stand that attaches to the headrest of a car so that way you can set up a little screen in the back seat area. This makes it so that instead of trying to steady yourself in the back seat holding onto a switch or if you're trying to share with someone or go back and forth, you can just set up one screen in the back and that way people can play multiplayer, you just have one screen to look at and it's just generally allows you to be a little more comfortable in the car not trying to find the right way to hold a switch and not get car sick at the same time. 